Scientists, astronomers, and cosmologists agree that the universe as we know it was born in a vast explosion that generated the bulk of stuff and the physical rules that govern our ever-expanding universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful space observatory, has again pushed our knowledge of the cosmos to new heights. The telescope has found a structure that contradicts the expectations of the Big Bang hypothesis, the dominant cosmological explanation. This surprising discovery raises exciting concerns about the origins and developments of our cosmos, sending scientists scrambling for new answers. Could this be yet another blow to the Big Bang Theory? Stay tuned, let's delve deeper. The Big Bang Theory fundamentals posit that all current and past matter in the universe appeared at the exact moment, around 13.8 billion years ago. At this point, all matter had been compressed into a tiny ball of infinite density and immense heat, known as a singularity. The singularity suddenly expanded, and the cosmos as we know it started. According to the idea, the universe cooled enough after the first expansion to enable the development of subatomic particles and, eventually, basic atoms. Giant clouds of these primordial materials subsequently gravitationally merged to create stars and galaxies. Scientists believe that the universe must have originated as a single point of infinite density and finite time that then began to expand. They're working backward from the universe's current condition. Therefore, by testing theoretical ideas, conducting experiments involving particle accelerators and high energy states, and conducting astronomical studies that have observed the deep universe, they have created a timeline of events that started with the Big Bang and has led to the current stage of cosmic evolution. Because temperatures were insufficient to generate new proton-antiproton pairs, mass annihilation occurred instantly, leaving just one in 1010 of the original neutrons and protons and no antiparticles. A similar process happened for electrons and positrons roughly one second after the Big Bang. Following these annihilations, the surviving protons, neutrons and electrons were no longer traveling relativistically. The universe's energy density was dominated by photons and, to a lesser degree, neutrinos. The era known as Big Bang nucleosynthesis started a few minutes into the expansion. Neutrons and protons began to combine to generate the universe's first deuterium and helium atoms when temperatures dropped to 1 billion Kelvin and energy densities dropped to approximately the equivalent of air. However, most protons in the universe remained uncombined as hydrogen nuclei. After roughly 379,000 years, electrons merged with these nuclei to create atoms, while radiation dissociated from matter and grew mostly unbated across space. The radiation is now recognized as the cosmic microwave background, the earliest light in the universe. Over the billions of years that followed, the somewhat denser parts of the universe's relatively equally dispersed matter were gravitationally attracted to one another. As a result, they became even thicker generating gas clouds, stars, galaxies, and other cosmic formations that we see today. This is known as the Structure Epoch, since it was during this period that the current universe started to take form. This comprises observable matter scattered in formations, ranging in size from stars and planets to galaxies, galaxy clusters, and superclusters, where matter is concentrated, separated by vast gulfs holding just a few galaxies. The specifics of this process are determined by the quantity and kind of matter in the cosmos, with four postulated categories being cold, warm, hot dark matter, and baryonic matter. However, the early moments of the universe, ranging from the seconds after the Big Bang, are the topic of much discussion. Given that the general rules of physics did not exist then, it is impossible to imagine how the universe may have been regulated. Furthermore, tests that can generate the energy necessary have yet to be done. The condition of the cosmos was exceedingly unstable due to the enormous heat and density of stuff. As a result, it started to expand and cool, resulting in the emergence of physics' fundamental forces. It is thought that the primary force that controls the universe began to separate from each other here. The initial stage in this process was the separation of gravitational forces from gauge forces, which account for both strong and weak nuclear forces and electromagnetism. The temperature of the cosmos was low enough after the Big Bang that electromagnetism and weak atomic forces could also split, establishing two different forces. 
As the universe's density and temperature decreased, so did the energy of each particle, and phase transitions proceeded until the basic forces of physics and elementary particles took their current form. This time is less speculative since particle energy would have plummeted to levels that particle physics experiments can reach. While this is not the only current explanation of how the universe came to be, the steady-state explanation and the oscillating universe theory are the most commonly accepted and popular. The model not only explains the genesis of all known matter, the rules of physics, and the universe's large-scale structure, but it also accounts for the universe's expansion and a variety of other phenomena. Observations from many observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope, have generally validated the Big Bang idea. Scientists have discovered the Big Bang's afterglow, cosmic microwave background radiation, which offers compelling evidence for the first fast expansion. If the density of the universe were equal to or less than the critical density, the expansion would slow but never cease. In this scenario, known as the Big Freeze, the universe would continue to expand until star formation ended due to the combustion of all interstellar gas in each galaxy. Meanwhile, all existing stars would die, turning into white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes. Collisions between these black holes would result in mass collecting into more prominent and significant black holes over time. The universe's average temperature would approach zero, and black holes would evaporate after releasing their last Hawking radiation. Furthermore, the distribution of galaxies in the visible universe seems to match theoretical expectations. Edwin Hubble's determination of the enormous distance to the closest spiral nebula in 1924 demonstrated that these systems were, in fact, other galaxies. At the same time, Hubble started working on a set of distance markers using the Mount Wilson Observatory's Hooker Telescope. Hubble found a relationship between distance and recession velocity in 1929, now known as Hubble's Law. Being a successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, has been able to dive deeper into the universe's secrets thanks to its enhanced technology and sensitivity. As we earlier pointed out, the telescope identified a massive cosmic structure during its early observations, challenging our present knowledge. This structure, nicknamed the Great Anomaly, is made up of a gigantic cosmic web that seems to violate Big Bang Theory predictions. The network spans millions of light years and demonstrates a degree of coherence and order that is difficult to explain within the current framework of cosmology. The discovery of the Great Anomaly by the James Webb Space Telescope has sent shockwaves through the scientific world, calling into question the current understanding of the universe's beginnings. Scientists have been inspired by the finding of the Great Anomaly to create new cosmological theories that can explain such a structure. One possibility is that previously undiscovered physical processes or interactions happened during the early phases of the universe's development. These processes might have altered the distribution of matter on massive scales, resulting in the known cosmic web. The discovery of the Great Anomaly highlights the ever-changing nature of scientific knowledge. It emphasizes the need for ongoing inquiry and studies to solve the universe's secrets. Scientists look forward to future observations with the James Webb Space Telescope to gain more data and deepen our knowledge of this strange structure. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.